It seems the NASA intended launch of the SLS 1B crew may happen sooner rather than later. As in a recent memo to NASA staff on February 15, 2017, Acting NASA Administrator Robert Lightfoot has asked if NASA can add a crew to the first SLS launch previously scheduled for 2018. He states, As the Acting Administrator, my perspective is that we're on the verge of even greater discoveries. President Trump said in his inaugural address that we will unlock the mysteries of space. Accordingly, it is in my imperative to the mission of this agency that we are successful in safely and effectively executing both the SLS and Orion programs. And then goes on to ask Bill Gerstenmayer to initiate a study to assess the feasibility of adding a crew to the Exploration Mission 1, also known as EM-1, the first integrated flight of SLS and Orion. And then later asks, that said, I also want to hear about the opportunities it could present to accelerate the effort of the first crewed flight and what it would take to accomplish that first step of pushing humans farther into space. I'll put a link down below so you can read the full memo. Now adding a crew to SLS Block 1B would mean a blowout of the first launch schedule, but could feasibly see the first SLS launch with crew take place before the original 2021 schedule. It appears someone has put a rocket up NASA to expedite the SLS program and deliver substantial results over the next four years. But even the Indian Space Research Organization with a measly one billion budget was also planning on having a manned space mission by 2021. And then there's SpaceX, which should be ferrying passengers to the space station by mid-2018. And of course, Russia has been doing this for a number of years now. Despite all the political rhetoric, NASA should be indeed trying to get back to manned space flight sooner rather than later. But the risks of putting people into space on an untested rocket may be too great even for the boldest NASA administration. Of course, if they were planning to develop reusable rockets, then maybe they could perform a test launch and then sometime later launch again. It'll be interesting to see the response to this memo and I'll keep you updated if I learn more. But in the meantime, we can keep watching SpaceX launch and land their rockets over the next few months and look forward to the first launch of Falcon Heavy later in the year.